I ramble around all over the place playing the guitar and telling stories and uh, it's a pleasure, it really is. It's, 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 a, it's a gift, I don't know. We, we get to share things with each other, you know. And I I've take the same gig in these same strange places over and over again and sometimes they might not be the most favorable places to visit, you know. Uh, but I still go back and there's this one place I play called the Blackbird. It's in this province of Alberta and it's this strange little honky tonk and uh, um, it also has one of the most world-class trout rivers and if you're like me, a gig might promise you fishing. You'll end up there over and over again no matter how kind of dire the circumstances, you know. And the hotel I've stayed at every single time for the last five years is a place called the New West Motel. There's absolutely nothing new about this place at all. It's got the wrong name, you know. But I like the guy that runs it. His name's Pete. Pete's an old rodeo guy from southern Alberta, and he's the kind of rodeo guy that's hit the ground two or three more times than he should have, you know. <laughs> and his face, it kind of looks like it. And uh, So I'm coming home late. We got my fly rod in my left hand, my guitar in my right. I walk up to my room, room 203. Same room I've stayed in. It's like home, you know, and I... I notice something peculiar about the door. I notice it's been left ajar. I'm pretty sure I didn't do it, but I walk in anyway, and uh, right away I notice that the TV's on. I put my guitar down. And then I notice that there's actually two people in my bed having a lot more fun than I was maybe having, you know. <laughs> so I retreat to the coffee shop. I get a coffee and a donut, and I contemplate my fate, you know. Finally get the courage back up, and I'm going to go talk to Pete, the owner, because he's a friend, you know. And so I knock on his trailer door. I can hear rustling. Just as he's about to come to that door, his brand-new cleaning lady, Jenny Lee, she walks out of room 203, and she shouts down to us. She says, I'm sorry, boy, but me and Pete, well, we had to bore your room for a few hours. I hope that is okay, you know. <laughs> and finally, Pete comes to the door, and he's smiling wide as Montana, you know. And I've never... Uh, seen or heard a couple so in love, and I haven't paid for a room there ever since. So I thought, why the heck shouldn't I write a love song for Peter and Jenny Lee? I'm gonna leave you with this one. It's been a real pleasure. One, two, three, one. face like an old door handle it's about as bright as a birthday candle he worked the front desk at the new west motor hotel he spent his last 10 years answering that silver tabletop bell, you know the kind? Well, she was roly and poly and able, yes, sir. And he hired her on under the table. Before they knew it, well, they were drowning in a romantic dream love. Love might find you in the basement, way up the top of a tree. And if you're lucky, you might to feel as strong as Peter and Jenny Lee. All right. They knew it was love without a doubt or a question. 
He was a turkey and she was the dressing. And the first night they spent up in room 203. It's my room. Making true love even truer. Watching church on TV. It's holy love, I guess. Feel it. as strong as Peter and Jamie Lee. Yeah, if you're lucky, you might get to feel it. as strong as Peter. Good people. Take care. Del Barber. That was great. Del, that was awesome, man. Thank you. Del Barber. Yeah. Huh? That's what I'm talking about, right, Keith? Oh, that's good stuff.